Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, or if this is your first time visiting, welcome to the channel. Something a little different today, going to go into some repairs on a fleet truck and some concerns that the, the owner of the truck has. So we'll get into that and we'll get to uh, see about trying to make the repairs a little quicker or make it harder than it needs to be. It's not uncommon for myself. Let's get into what we're working on today and uh, go over what the client says his concerns are. I will be working on this 2005 GMC 1500 four wheel drive 5.3 Run of the mill GMC truck that's on the road right now. Um, good trucks, solid truck. And again, hundred and I think this thing's got 184, 85,000 miles on it. They keep it up really, really good. And uh, I appreciate these guys actually letting me work on their vehicles. So what I'm going to start today, when I work on other people's vehicles, is we'll do a segment client states. Basically, this this gentleman has three concerns. Um, we've got a thumping. Pretty significant thumping when in reverse backing. Um, this truck usually has a trailer on it, so we're gonna get in to see what that is. Um, there's an airbag light, airbag air light on. Um, I've not checked the DTCs yet. We'll go into showing you how to do that and pretty much the pinpoint test to get to the concern. Um, and then we've got a clicking or popping coming from the transmission. I think second to third gear is what he said. So we're gonna get into that. I'm not an automatic transmission guy, it's 180,000 miles, I'm not going to get into a 4L60 that high miles. Um, but we'll figure out what the concern is, see what the fluid level looks, see what the fluid looks like, see what the fluid level is, and just kind of check the drive line, make sure everything's intact. If it drives like it's supposed to, as far as the transmission, we're going to leave it alone. Um, well, let's get into it, see how, uh, see how repairable it is. Alright, so we're in the truck, got it running, got it up to temperature. Got the emergency brake set and uh, make sure there's nothing really in front of me that matters. Really, we're behind me because this is a reverse issue. So we're gonna put it in reverse, load the truck like it has a trailer on it. Basically, just hold the brake, load the drive line. Um, let's see what it does. Put it on the brake. Oh. Yeah, I think it's fair to say that that uh, passenger side engine mount is toast. A little bit of a job. The right extension and swivel socket combo makes it pretty easy. Um, with the four wheel drive, it does have the front diff, but luckily the, the chunk is on the driver's side. And uh, this should not be too bad. Let's get under it and get started. All right, setting her down on jack stands to see how bad the damage is gonna be from underneath. Guys, use jack stands. Not those Harbor Freight jobbies, but have something under the vehicle if you're gonna work on the ground like this. All right guys, so where we are, is I've got the engine supported by the jack and a couple two by fours at the back of the oil pan. Um, and you can see that one bolt hole, that's the center motor or center engine mount bolt. Um, and there are, there's one to the left, one to the right. And actually I've already got two out. I've got the rear one to take out and it'll be free of the frame rail. And then we'll have to get underneath it and get the uh, bolts off the engine block. Okay, so I'm gonna try to show you some of the stuff you run into that makes jobs a little more difficult. That's my last bolt, and there's a piece of engine mount rubber between it and the actual body of the mount, and it will not come out. Picks, it's it's the last piece of the rubber, and it's wanting to hang on. But it's fighting me right now. I'll get it out of there some way, and we'll keep moving. Last bolt. On the top, and it's what hang out. Got it. Well, we've got the mount ready to come out. I did have to take the heat shield off the manifold, and I think five of the one, two, three, four, five of the six bolts come out. So that's pretty good. Did use some of this stuff right here. 
some of the absolute best stuff I've used as far as penetrant. But mount's ready to come out. Hopefully the new one goes in the same, same spot. We've got the, the replacement mount in place. Was a little bit of a task. Um, I think the workshop manual calls for removing the compressor. I just unbolted it, moved it forward, got some pretty good clearance in front of it. Um, but it did slide in behind the man or behind the uh, compressor and in between the manifold as well. So it's in place. We'll get the bolts in it. So real quick, under the truck, when we take the compressor off, or when I detect it, move it forward. Um, there's one bolt that is a absolute pain. So that one you can't take all the way out because it runs into the differential bracket right there. So you leave it in. I always try to make that your first one in and you cannot put that in with the engine sitting on the mount. So you need to do that first and foremost before you lower the engine back down into the uh, mount location. The rest of them go in no problem at all. Transmission seems fair at this point. It's pretty well up to temperature. Let's see if I can replicate the noise. Nothing I have, I have normal. Open the drive line slack. So I've been able to replicate the noise. Uh, it seems to be in second gear when you're on or off the gas. You can't say for certain that it's in the transmission. It sounds more drive line be rear end but we'll isolate it when we get back and put it up on jack stands and uh, spin it up see what kind of noise we can hear where the noise is coming from Look, looking at the output shaft of the transfer case and the noise clicking or popping uh, on and off the throttle is definitely coming from this u joint um, i had it making a noise a minute ago but i've got it in a bind right now but we're gonna go ahead and take the drive shaft out and uh, get into swapping this u joint out all right now that the drive shaft is in our hands we can definitely see the uh where the concern of the noise is coming from here at least the start of it so we'll get this swapped out unfortunately the only way i have to do it right now is with a hammer and socket so uh you guys will get to see the fast paced version of that So the U-joint is out, and that right there will cause some noise. Um, there were no needle bearings left in these, so as the camera unfocuses. Anyways, we're going to get into uh, putting the new one in and getting this dude slapped back in the truck. Alright guys. So we did get the drive shaft U-joint, the front U-joint taken care of with minimal tools. I think it was a two pound hammer, 19 millimeter socket, and then a um, five or six inch uh, C-clamp. Pretty simple deal. I mean, they don't always go like that, but this one was pretty easy. Um, the dealer actually had this ball, uh, ball joint, this U-joint in stock. So I like to try to use manufactured stuff when I can. Also want to note, when disassembling, I always try to, it may not make any difference at all. Stay. That mark, just try to locate everything back the way it came apart, and I'll show you the same on the uh, rear differential. Okay, drive shaft is installed, tight, ready to drive. Um, don't want to show you those marks. It's just a quick scratch, if it'll zoom right there and then a little scratch there just puts it back right where it was 
no balance issues or vibration hopefully when you get done with it fronts in slip yoke that's easy easy peasy and we're ready to go for a drive well guys i believe that is a wrap on this gmc uh, we've got the engine not wanting to bounce out from under the hood any any longer and then we've got the front drive shaft excuse me the rear drive shaft front u joint replaced the truck actually drives really well now um didn't really want to get into the airbag system. We've got performance faults on the front sensors. They're right under the radiator support. Um, I don't play with airbag stuff. So if, if I can get the parts, I'm gonna make sure that they're new. Um, I do have some used ones. If it were my vehicle, I'd try it, but this is not mine and I'm not taking any chances with airbag stuff. So anyways, that's a wrap on this truck. Um, we've got another one coming. It's a 2008 F-250 gas burner. Uh, got some emissions concerns going on with that so um, we'll have that going just as quick as we can appreciate you guys watching and again if you don't mind uh, like and subscribe turn the bell on for me and uh, we'll keep these going i do like the uh, client states type deal and um, kind of helps your general guy diagnose and repair stuff in the driveway and uh, you've seen with what i did i had minimal tools nothing power other than some battery impacts and stuff so anyways guys thanks for watching